What's up, what it do, how you doing? I am back with another video. Today, e, e family, I'm showing you how to make stuff this is chips. General Chang. So, go away. so, before we get started with this video, smash the like button and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. So, what I'm starting with first is my sauce. And I just have some ground turkey that I browned up in my skillet right here. So next, I'm going to season my ground turkey. So I seasoned my ground turkey with a little salt and some black pepper. I do this before I add the sauce um, or any other spices. So just some salt and black pepper on my ground turkey. So off to the side over here, I have water that is boiling for my shells. So you want to oversalt your water, undercook your pasta. So I'm not. I'm only going to let them cook uh, until they're al dente, and then I'm going to take them out because they're going to finish cooking in the oven. So we're going to get our shells added in here. So now we're ready to make our sauce. You definitely can make a homemade sauce. However, I'm using a good old-fashioned jar of sauce today, and we're going to make it taste homemade. So I'm going to get my sauce added. Okay, so now we're going to season our sauce. So I have some garlic powder. I have some black pepper. I have a little onion powder. I have some oregano. And I have some Italian seasoning. I have just a little salt since we added salt to our ground turkey and I'm going to add a couple spoonfuls of sugar you could omit this part but I like to add a couple spoonfuls of sugar so we're going to get that mixed up now I'm going to plop my lid on top and we're going to let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes so that all the um, seasonings can marry with our sauce Next, we're gonna go over and start putting our stuffed shells together. Don't go nowhere. So now we're gonna work on the filling for our stuffed shells. So in my bowl, I have some room temperature ricotta cheese. You'll definitely want to let it get up to room temperature because it's so much easier to work with. So I have some spinach here that I chopped up that I'm gonna add into my ricotta cheese. You can use frozen spinach, but if you use frozen spinach, um, you'll have to let it sit out, thaw, and strain all the water off of the spinach. So it, it, it you know, just depends on what you wanna do. So I'm gonna get this spinach mixed in. Next, I have a little fine chopped onion, finely chopped, that I'm gonna add in here. Not a lot, just a little get that mixed in. So next I'm going to add a little cheese to our filling. And I'm using mozzarella. You can use parm. You can use any kind of cheese you want to, but I'm just using a little mozzarella. So for seasonings, I'm just going to add a little garlic powder and a little black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt to the filling because we have salt in our cheese. We have salt in our sauce. And I don't feel like we need any salt in the actual filling part. So let's go ahead and get that mixed around. So I have my dish that I'm going to put my shells in. And we're going to take some sauce like this and put it on the bottom of our pan. So we've made a little bed of sauce for our shells. And next I have my shell here. And we're just going to take our filling and stuff it. Simple, simple, simple. <laughs> An easy, anytime meal. And then we're just gonna nestle it down into the sauce. So I'm gonna keep filling up my shells until we have our pan filled up. Mm. I can't wait to taste this, guys. I have one without sauce, one with sauce. 
Yeah, I'm just ready to taste. So let's get to tasting. <laughs> That's the one without the sauce. And of course my noodle will fall. Mm. 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 I love stuffed shells. This reminds me of when I lived at home. My mom would make stuffed shells and we would have a garden salad and um, garlic bread or dinner rolls to go with it. It was a Sunday meal she would make. Mm. Mm, mm -hmm. So good. Very easy. You can make it any day of the week. And the best part is, your friends and family are going to love, love, love these stuff shells. As I always, I mean, as I always tell you, Eddie family, I promise you will not be disappointed. And that's it for today, Eddie family. Like, share, comment on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. The links are in the description box below. And as always, E&E family, don't forget to live a little and love a lot. Y'all be easy. Make this. Try this out. You know I don't steer you wrong. Bye, y'all.